Okay, well, all that launch stuff about the 2080 and 2080 Ti, that was all really cool stuff, but now it's all out of the bag, and all we have left to do now is specific game testing. We're going to do some SLI stuff. I got my other cards coming tomorrow, including my bridge, which I finally got my hands on, so we can bring that to the table. So I've got a couple of videos that I want to bring to the table this week, and the first of these two videos is actually about driver gimping. A lot of people out there say that NVIDIA gimps their drivers. Now, another video we're going to be talking about is going to be DLSS and what it actually does and how many games it actually works with and what it's going to work with. But before we jump into the first video, let's hear a word from today's sponsor, Best Tech. If you're a person who does a lot of traveling overseas, then you know that different countries use different voltages. And you don't want to get caught away from home and have none of your electronic devices work, do you? Guess what? Bestech has you covered. With the Bestech adapter and power converter, you can eliminate the stress of unsafely charging your US made products in another country. The Bestech adapter and power converter converts all other countries' voltages to the voltage we use right here in the US 110 volts. This product also features the very world's first sine wave converter, meaning there's a more stable output than any other adapter or power converter on the market today. This technology can be applied specifically to your curling iron, hair straightener, or any electric toothbrush you may own, or anything within 200 watts. The design is pretty simple. There are two outlets on top, as well as four USB ports on the side of the Best Tech device. Now, three of these are standard USB, and the other is USB 3.0. But what's really cool is that you can charge up to six devices simultaneously on the Best Tech adapter. So if you're on the go, never get caught unprepared ever again. Check out the Best Tech power adapter and power converter, and you never have to worry about unsafe voltages ever again. All right, so if the Best Tech adapter looks pretty interesting to you, we'll have a link down below. So, all right, today's video, a lot of people are always speculating throwing dirt at NVIDIA. Now, obviously, some of the dirt is probably deserved, just like any corporation. We've talked about this a gazillion times. The corporations are generally just evil, and that's just how things are. Individuals can be good people, but corporations in general are just bad. Now... We always do hear, though, that NVIDIA is gimping the drivers. And what this means is that, you know, when NVIDIA releases a new car with new drivers, that the other games either are made slower, forcing you to go, oh, my God, I don't want this card. I need to absolutely buy the newer card because my games now suck. So we decided that we would test out two different drivers and see, is this actually true? So we tested the previous 39924 driver. We did this on the 1080 Ti. We tested this card. We tested all its glory, made sure that everything was good. We did about 15 games, a few other tests and stuff like that. But then after the launch of the RTX, we decided, okay, now let's test this on the 41163 driver, which is the latest driver that's out on the market right now. And honestly, is there any difference between these two? Um, is NVIDIA gimping the games, making games run slower because of the new driver, forcing you to really make that decision where you're going, oh my God, all my games really suck. Now I need to buy a new video card. Well, we did the testing. If you guys don't know about our test system, it's a pretty, pretty nice test system. Features an i7 8700K, 16 gigabytes of RAM, all your standard type of stuff. It's a pretty nice system, though, all in all. We're using the latest Windows 10 with all the latest patches. We use the WHQL drivers 39924 and 41163, like I said earlier. But with that said, let's jump in, let's rock out to the benchmark, and let's see. Did NVIDIA GIMP any of your games?
All right, so the tests are in. You guys can see that either the games perform a couple of frames better or a couple of frames you know, worse, but nothing at all suggesting that the drivers have been gimped. I mean, gimped would be like, you know, you're playing one of the games and all of a sudden with the new driver, it's playing 10 frames per second worse than what you were doing before. And you're like, what the heck is going on? But we see, you know, some improvements in some games and then a few games that didn't really do much improvement. That's really to be expected. Honestly, if you even install drivers and uninstall them and mess with your system, you'll always honestly get a different score every time. So if you're only seeing a few frames per second, that pretty much proves that NVIDIA didn't do any gimping whatsoever on these drivers. If they did, like I said, you'd see a much farther space between the different drivers. Like you'd see, you know, 39924, you'd see it running the driver at some, you know, really great thing. And then when you install 41163, all of a sudden you'd be like, oh my God, like this game like sucks now. I can't even turn this on. I was doing this before and we didn't see any of that happening whatsoever. So I would have to say that at this point right now, I could not prove that NVIDIA is gimping the driver whatsoever. Now, if other people have run their test, hey, I'd love to hear your guys' opinion like usual from what our tests and what we've seen right here, you know, and no, we've been paid no money by NVIDIA. I know people have to say, you're an NVIDIA shill. If you say anything good about NVIDIA, you've been paid, you know? So if I happen to like cherry pie, did the cherry pie companies pay me off or do I just like cherry pie? Do I like Coke over Pepsi? Was I paid by Coke? No, it's just a matter of personal taste. And I can tell you right here with the numbers and seeing what's going on here, there really is no gimping going on. Now, when future drivers come out, we can go back and test these things and see if there's a difference. But for now, it seems like there's no shadiness whatsoever going from the old driver to the new driver. So peace out. If you like that device we showed in the beginning of the video, we'll have a link to it, plus more information about the 2080 cards down below. Peace. We'll see you back here on the channel.